What does model.train do in PyTorch? Does it call forward in nn.module? I thought when we call the model, forward method is being used. Why do we need to specify train? Model.train tells your model that you are training the model. This helps inform layers such as dropout and batch norm, which are designed to behave differently during training and evaluation. For instance, in training mode, batch norm updates are moving average on each new batch, whereas, for evaluation mode, these updates are frozen. More details. Model.train sets the mode to train. See source code. You can call either model.eval or model.train mode equals false to tell that you are testing. It is somewhat intuitive to expect train function to train model but it does not do that. It just sets the mode. Here is the code for nn.module.train. Here is the code for nn.module.eval. By default, the self.training flag is set to true, i.e., modules are in train mode by default. When self.training is false, the module is in the opposite state, eval mode. Of the most commonly used layers, only dropout and batch norm care about that flag. Note. Neither of these function calls run forward, backward passes. They tell the model how to act when run. This is important as some modules, layers, for example dropout, batch norm, are designed to behave differently during training versus inference, and hence the model will produce unexpected results if run in the wrong mode. There are two ways of letting the model know your intention i.e. do you want to train the model or do you want to use the model to evaluate. In case of model.train the model knows it has to learn the layers and when we use model.eval it indicates the model that nothing new is to be learned and the model is used for testing. Model.eval is also necessary because in PyTorch if we are using batch norm and during test if we want to just pass a single image, PyTorch throws an error if model.eval is not specified.